Uh, this short video is a demonstration of how to check the resonance, self resonance frequency of plate chokes in linear amplifiers. Um, when I got this linear, it had some bits in it which I wasn't all that uh, weren't all that good looking. For example, the plate choke had been repaired with a couple of drops of solder somewhere around the middle, homemade thing using an old resistor, ceramic resistor and the RF chokes going to the plates the suppressor chokes uh, weren't in very good condition as you can see some of them had uh, resistors with uh, no wires left on them so I thought well should really uh, fix that up clean that up so some new resistors cleaned up a few things and rebuilt the choke uh, just using some information from the web now one of the things you've got to watch out for in order to avoid the choke uh, burning like that one did is for self resonances that are inside the amateur bands where the, you're likely to be driving the linear. Now some of the methods I've read use a VNA, others use a GDO to find the resonant frequency and basically what they do is they don't have any connection uh, to the top end of the choke uh, so no, nothing's connected there and you put a piece of wire between one end the choke on the other side forms a resonant circuit. Um, there are some bypass capacitors here and the high voltage lead normally goes down the bottom end so I've disconnected that. Now I'm not really sure if the capacitors should be there or not there but I've uh, done the measurements with both. But just to give you an idea um, of what can happen I've got this GDO and it's tuned between 14 and 40 megs. It's got that particular coil in and as I uh, as I adjust the GDO, you'll see some sharp tips. And we go in there a bit tighter. There you go. There's one dip there. I just hope you can see that on the meter. I'll just uh, come in a little bit tighter. There we go. So, uh, what frequency is that? Well, I'll pull, pull back a little bit and find a dip so that the Accuracy is improved, so the coupling is less. Now I need to know what the frequency is, and the dial says it's probably around uh, 15 and a half megs. It's not an amateur band, so what I do to check that, I go to my receiver, which is uh, sitting over here, and I listen at that frequency. So there's a closer look of the dial. And you'll hear as I tune very close to it. So there's the GDO tuning through. So I know that resonance on that uh, choke is around 16.4 megahertz. Now as I tune around further up, I'll just see if there's, there's usually a couple of these dips, a couple of resonances for these uh, chokes. I, uh, I uh, have another look. And I find um, one around, let's have a look here, there's a little bit of a dip here. That looks to be around about 26 megs. And I know there's another one up around 30 megs. So, or about, about around about 33 megs. So we'll just set the... Uh, Dial here. That's 30 megs there. There's a little tiny dip there somewhere. There it is there. And that's around about 34 megs. I oh, don't worry about that one. That's outside the amateur band. But the other one further down in frequency, we'll have a close look at that one now. So we found a, uh, a bit of a dip at around about 27.4 megs. That's a bit close to the 10 meter band. So we might want to um, do a bit more work on that one. There it is there. Now I'm going to lift the uh, bypass capacitor off and see if that changes anything. Try it with it on. It's only sort of sitting there. Well, that takes it up maybe 100 kcs. Well, 
Well, the um, capacitor doesn't really make much difference at all. It's still around the same frequency. It's a fairly weak dip, but it is close uh, to the uh, 10 meter bands. It'd be nice to move that down a little bit. So I'll have a look at that later on and see what we can do to change that. So that is the result of the test for the um, on the choke to find its resonant frequencies. I think uh, the the two frequencies are okay. The um, 16.4 meg uh, is not in an amateur band, and neither is the 27.4. Now I have swept all of the amateur bands with the GDO, and I can't find any dips actually inside the band. And I suspect with the 27.4, and I don't use 27 megs, or even on 28 megs, I don't really run a lot of power. Um, when I uh, attach the chokes to the valve caps and that, I suspect that that 27 meg resonance will actually uh, go lower in frequency and get further away from the uh, 10 meter band. Uh, lastly, what I should say is that that particular choke that I built was actually based on a design that I've used before and it uh, was working in another linear using a pair of 813's so I was expecting it to be uh, alright for this. You'll notice there's a couple of little uh, spacings in the middle that's where the uh, RF chokes tend to blow up they get hot in the center where so um, I put some uh, spacing between uh, something like about 20 turns I don't know if it helps, but uh, you'll see quite a lot of chokes with gaps between windings, between bits of winding. I also did a quick check on the choke that I pulled out the, uh, with the two burn spots in the middle. And I found there's a resonance here at around about 21 megahertz. It is there. I'm actually tuned at 20 point... Uh, 684 so it's close to the uh, 15 meter band that resonance and I found another one down here somewhere it's around about let's have a look here about probably around about uh, 16 16 and a half megs so this resonance we found is at, at around about 17.5 megs there it is there here on the receiver, let's turn it up a bit. And the uh, second ref, uh, re resonance is up here, and that happens to be around 26 point, uh, 26 point five megahertz. So it's quite a decent dip. So we have the three resonances on this particular choke: 26.5. 20.9 which we found before and 17.5 now this test is done on the bench normally you will need to do this in the actual linear so that the effect of metal from the case uh, can also be taken into account that will affect the frequencies and will change them but anyway that's what the uh, the choke uh, was like it's a uh, fairly poor condition actually if someone's put araldite or something keep the wires uh, from doing something, moving, uh, but the, the, the naughty bit is shorting out some turns which effectively means there's some shorter turns there, also this, these particular clamps at the end also represent a shorter turn at the ends of the coil, what effect they have I'm not too sure, I've seen them on a few chokes but I don't, uh, I don't put a full loop around anywhere near a coil like that. Well that's it for um, testing a uh, plate choke for a linear.